Are you tired of hearing seemingly harmless phrases that are actually toxic? It can be really disheartening, right? These phrases often come in the form of toxic positivity. They breed negativity and misunderstanding, perpetuate discrimination, and contribute to inequality. The good news is we have the power to change that, to build an inclusive world where people feel safe to express their feelings and struggles. We must actively let go of these harmful statements. So in this video, we'll shed light on common toxic phrases and explore better ways to communicate and foster positive, compassionate, and empathetic connections. With that in mind, here are seven toxic phrases we instantly need to stop using. You always, you never, or you people always. For example, you always forget to lock the door or you never care about others. The truth is things are not always so absolute. Absolute claims and generalizations based on someone's actions, race or ethnicity, lead to misunderstandings, stereotypes, and discrimination. So if you catch yourself using these generalizations, pause for a moment and reconsider. This simple act can positively transform our interactions. Alternatively, we can say, I've noticed that sometimes specific behavior happens. This paves the way for mutual understanding and problem solving. I can't believe you're upset about this. This phrase belittles the person's feelings and suggests they are unreasonable. Everyone has different sensitivities and what might seem minor to one person can mean a lot to another. Instead of dismissing their feelings, let's show that we care by trying to understand why they're upset. We can acknowledge people's emotions and show empathy by saying, I see this is really bothering you. I want to understand why and help you feel heard. This way, we validate their feelings and make them feel understood. You speak English so well for someone from insert region here. Compliments are great, but this one can make people feel limited because of where they're from. We can praise people's abilities without prejudice. Acknowledging language skills without referring to stereotypes promotes positive relationships. Consider saying this instead. Your English is fantastic. I admire the insights you share. In this way, we express our appreciation without perpetuating discrimination. It's all in your head. When someone opens up about their struggles and we respond with, it's all in your head, it can be really hurtful. It makes people feel like their emotions don't matter. So what's the solution? Showing empathy and understanding can improve mental health. So the next time someone shares their feelings, try saying, your feelings are valid and I'm here for you. Let's address your concerns. You're too sensitive or emotional. Have you ever been labeled too sensitive for expressing your feelings? It can make you feel like your emotions aren't valid. However, being in touch with your emotions is a beautiful and natural part of being human. And that's why it's crucial to create a safe space where people feel comfortable sharing their thoughts and feelings without judgment. We can do this by saying, I appreciate your openness and vulnerability. Your honest expressions of emotions mean a lot to me. Stop asking if I'm okay, everything is fine. When it isn't. Have you ever used this phrase to mask your true feelings? You're not alone, but here's something interesting. Passive aggressive language keeps partners from talking about their problems directly and openly. This makes it difficult to resolve conflict and can make both parties feel insecure. In place of that, you could try. I'm really upset, but I'm not ready to talk about it yet. Just get over it. Have you ever heard this during a tough time? Sometimes people say this to help us move on, but life isn't always that simple. Pain does not just magically disappear. Some wounds leave lasting scars and some never fully heal. We just learn to live with them. This phrase can also make people feel like their emotions and experiences are being invalidated. It suggests that emotional struggles are trivial and easy to overcome, which isn't always the case. So what's the solution? Offering validation and support helps individuals navigate emotional challenges. Instead of being dismissive, we can offer empathy. Consider saying, I see this is really hard for you. How can I support you right now? The bottom line is that we can create a more inclusive and compassionate world by offering support instead of being dismissive, celebrating diversity without stereotypes, showing empathy for emotions, having open conversations without generalizations, and being honest about our feelings. 
Together, we can foster kindness, respect, and unity. And it all begins with you and me. Want to learn more about toxic phrases? Check out this video, eight toxic things people say to each other without realizing it. So, dear Psych2Goers, what phrases are you letting go of today? Is there a particular phrase you'd love to see vanish completely? Let us know in the comment section.